ओके तो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द रियल एनालिसिस लाइव लेक्चर्स इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज ओपन सेट एंड व्हाट व्हाट इज नेबरहुड ओपन सेट एंड सम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ओपन सेट्स ओके so before that we will complete uh, convergence in matrix space one theorem is remaining so that first we will complete and this will complete our uh, unit 1 okay so first we will take the theorem i will write the statement of the theorem theorem if x n converges to x in matrix space md then distance of x and y converges to distance of x y for any y in m for any y in m more generally if x n converges to x y n converges to y in matrix space md then distance of x and y n will converge to distance between x and y okay so we have to prove this theorem what is given here what is given here can you hear my voice x n converges yes, to yes x n converges to x in a matrix space md be a matrix space this md be a matrix space and x n uh, sequence x n converges to x in matrix space md that is given and we have to show for any y belongs to m then distance of x and y converges to distance of xy so uh, what is difference between this convergence and this convergence this is con whatever this one this is convergence in matrix space and this is convergence for in what this is convergence of real numbers right because distance is nothing but a real number are you getting my point yes yes sir so we know definition for this uh, convergence in matrix space is more general than convergence in for real numbers right so whenever we want to show uh, okay let me write here i want to show distance of x and y converges to distance of x y means what i want to show for every epsilon greater than 0 i need to find a natural number n such that such that what modulus of distance of x and y minus distance of x y should be less than epsilon this is for epsilon. for every epsilon for every epsilon greater than 0 it should have there exists some natural number n belongs to n such that this should hold for whenever or for all n greater equal to n is that right we want to show this okay and what is given here what is given x n converges to x is given x n converges to x in a matrix space we don't know what is that matrix space okay so yes sir we will start now proof let y belongs to let y belongs to m take any point y in m and what is uh, given now we have to show that show that 
distance of x and y converges to distance of x y in r because distance is nothing but a real number right so let epsilon greater than 0 start with epsilon greater than 0 now since x n converges to x in metric space m d what we will have for this epsilon there exist there exist natural number there exists natural number n i will write n belongs to n such that such that what distance of x and x is less than epsilon for all n greater or equal to n is that right yes sir now i want to yes sir uh, i want to show this modulus how can i show this modulus is less than epsilon If we show d d of x y less than epsilon, d of x y no. There is a point. Modulus modulus is less than epsilon means what? What is mod x? What is mod x? Minus x two x. It is nothing but minus x. Is x is less than? Uh, can you see this? X less than zero. Or I will write here. What is mod x? Mod x is nothing but minus x if x is less than zero and x if x greater than zero. Or greater equal to zero, we can say. Or equal to zero also uh, equal to zero if x is equal to zero. Okay. So if I show let me write here. If minus of this quantity, this quantity and minus of this quantity is less than epsilon, then I can say modulus is less than epsilon. Okay. So first we will show, uh, consider, or by triangle inequality direct, I, I can write. Now, Consider distance of x and x or x and y first because I want minus now. Uh, distance of x and y, how can I write? It is less than or equal to distance of x and x plus distance of x, y I can write yes, sir. by triangle yes, sir. inequality by using triangle inequality. Right, and which will be, uh, so this implies distance of x and y minus distance of x y is less than or equal to distance of x and x. Right? Am I right? Give number one to this. Now, now I want to show reverse. So distance of x y minus distance of x and y is less than equal to again distance of x and x if I show then I can say both are less than epsilon and then using 1 and 2 I can say modulus is less than epsilon. So also what is distance of x y I can write how I can write it is less than or equal to distance of x x n plus distance of y or x and y I will write x and y I can write again by by triangle inequality right now that is nothing but which is equal to distance of x and x and this is nothing but distance of x, y, x and y only. So this implies distance of x, y minus distance of x and y is also less than equal to distance of x and x. Can I write like this? 
from 1 and 2 what can i say from 1 and 2 modulus of distance of x and y minus distance of x y is less than equal to distance of x and x and which is less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to n by our definition of convergence is that okay yes sir so what this implies this implies distance of x and y converges to distance of x y in r is that okay now yes, no moreover yes, i want to prove if x n converges to x y n converges to y distance of x n y n converges to distance of x y so what i have to do here now moreover suppose suppose x n converges to x and y n converges to y in matrix space m d then then what will happen so for for that epsilon uh, or let epsilon greater than zero so for this epsilon greater than zero what will happen then there exists there exists natural number for this for this convergence also and for this convergence also i will have two natural numbers there exist natural numbers n1 and or i will write natural numbers there exist natural numbers n1 and n2 such that such that what distance between x and x is less than epsilon yeah. for all n greater than equal to n1 and distance of y n y is less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to n2 so for convenience i will take here epsilon by 2 is that okay is that okay, okay. now i am having two natural yes. numbers so i want one natural number which will work for uh, both of them so what should i take take natural number n which is nothing but maximum of n1 n2 if i take then it will work for both am yes, i right sir. take whatever may be natural number uh, maximum among n1 and n2 call it as n then for then for any n greater than equal to n what is distance of x and y n? I can write this equal less than or equal to distance of x and x plus distance of x y n I can write then I yes, again by triangle inequality okay now I want here uh, y n y also in picture what should I do now distance of x and x plus distance of x y plus distance of y y n again use of repeated use of triangle inequality right i have used triangle inequality to this now x y and y n is that okay yes sir okay now this implies This implies distance of x n y n minus distance of x y is less than or equal to distance of x n x plus distance of y y n. But it is less than or equal to epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 strictly less than not a okay because distance of x for any n equal to n 
डिस्टेंस ऑफ एक्स एन एक्स इज लेस देन एप्सलॉन बाय टू एंड डिस्टेंस ऑफ वाई वाई एन इज ऑल्सो लेस देन एप्सलॉन बाय टू अगेन सिमेट्रिक प्रॉपर्टी आई एम यूजिंग वाई एन वाई एंड वाई डिस्टेंस बिटवीन वाई वाई एन एंड डिस्टेंस बिटवीन वाई एन वाई इज सेम राइट आर यू गेटिंग दिस विच इज नथिंग बट माई एप्सलॉन therefore therefore what distance of x and y and convert just to distance of x yes but i want uh, directly i cannot say because uh, i want to show modulus right similarly okay. similarly other way i can show stuck i think one second cursor yes similarly what is distance of xy minus distance of x and y and i can show it is less than equal to distance of x and x plus distance of y y and and which is which is less than epsilon okay so this the sample or uh, i will give 3 and 4 so from 3 and 4 modulus of distance of x and y and minus distance of x y is less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to n and therefore distance of x and y n converges to distance of x y in r is that okay yes ma'am yes so this completes uh, convergence in metric space so and this completes our unit 1 also okay so here up to here it is unit 1 okay so shall we start now second unit let ab is a open interval okay so i want to show it is an open set by definition what i have to show for every x in ab if there exists an open ball totally containing ab close uh, open interval ab then i will say close, uh, open interval ab is an open set okay So can you give me an open ball around this? Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, so can can you give me an open ball? Whatever may be x, you consider x here. means this open interval ab should be neighborhood of each of its points each of its points means you take any arbitrary x in this open interval and if it's totally contained in this open interval ab then i will call it is an open set so can you give me an open ball which will totally contain in this closed interval ab what should be what should i uh, that radius i should take epsilon maximum let x belongs to open interval ab that is a is strictly less than x strictly less than b this is my open interval so take hmm atami konta if i if i take this 
डिस्टेंस वेदर इट विल वर्क मी जर रेडियस ही घेतली तर वेदर इट विल वर्क बिकॉज दॅट ओपन बॉल विल गो आउट साइड ऑफ ओपन इंटरवल ए बी सो आय डोंट वॉन्ट लाईक दिस सो वॉट शुड आय टेक दिस डिस्टन्स इफ आय टेक दिस डिस्टन्स इफ आय टेक इट विल वर्क आर यू गेटिंग सो टेक टेक वॉट एवर मे बी मिनिमम बिटवीन दिस टू यू टेक दॅट वन ओके सो टेक एप्सलॉन इज इक्वल टू मिनिमम ऑफ डिस्टन्स बिटवीन वॉट डिस्टन्स बिटवीन एक्स अँड ए अँड एक्स अँड बी सो डिस्टन्स इफ इट इज सिन्स इट इज रिअल लाईन डिस्टन्स इज नथिंग बट वॉट इट इज जस्ट एक्स मायनस ए अँड एक्स मायनस बी मायनस एक्स राईट येस देन देन एप्सलॉन इज लेस दॅन इक्वल टू एक्स मायनस ए अँड एप्सलॉन इज ऑल्सो लेस दॅन इक्वल टू बी मायनस एक्स सो ए इज लेस दॅन इक्वल टू एक्स मायनस एप्सलॉन अँड x plus epsilon is less than equal to b so this implies x minus epsilon x plus epsilon is totally contained in ab is that right so this am so i have given an open ball totally contained in ab so this ab is an open set are you getting Yes, so this is finite in uh, not uh, yes finite interval a b uh, now what about uh, what about different intervals it contains a infinity also infinite intervals also real line contains yes, yeah so what about that that case let x belongs to open interval a infinity so what should a epsilon i i i take so that it is totally contained in that set look at this now a to infinity i don't know what is b okay what should i take only one point i know and this whole a to infinity now you take any x here you take any x suppose x is here now what should i radius epsilon i i should take so that b epsilon of x will be totally contained in this कोणता डिस्टन्स आहे आता माझ्याकडे फक्त एक्स मायनस ए सो टेक एक्सलॉन इज इक्वल टू एक्स मायनस ए वॉट एव्हर ऑर बाय टू ऑल्सो यू कॅन टेक बट इट विल बी टोटली कंटेन राईट टेक एप्सलॉन इज इक्वल टू एक्स मायनस ए देन x minus epsilon x plus epsilon this open ball will totally contain in a infinity right so this implies a infinity is open set is an open set similarly what is another type of open interval negative infinity similarly consider minus infinity b so for this what is uh, open uh, what is epsilon i should take b minus x b minus x so take 
epsilon is equal to b minus x then x minus epsilon x plus epsilon which will be totally containing minus infinity b and this implies minus infinity b is also an open set so any another type of open open interval is there only these three types of open interval right yes ma'am case one case two i will write okay instead of case case one uh, suppose interval is open interval of the type open interval finite open interval a b is one case two is case two suppose open interval is of the type of the type a infinity and third one is case three is that okay yes, be the yes, open interval then take epsilon is equal to b minus x will work is that okay so therefore every open interval is an open set in r every open interval is an open set in r is that okay yes ma'am a remark we can write open interval 0 1 is an open set but what about this 0 1 is not an open set in R right close 0 open 1 is not an open set in R? Yes, ma'am. Because what is the reason? Since what is open ball? Whatever. Can you give me an open ball around zero, which will be totally contained in this? For any epsilon greater than zero, you cannot find. Okay minus epsilon epsilon it is an open ball around zero which does not contain in close zero open one is that okay whatever may be small epsilon you cannot have you cannot find open ball around zero which will be totally contain in this are you getting this Yes. Yes. Okay. Now we will take that uh, your uh, discrete metric space. Third example. In a discrete metric space, metric space, every subset is open. subset is open every subset of a discrete metric space is an open set whatever may be that set so let md be a discrete metric space be a discrete metric space and let a be subset of m and i want to show what is my claim 
A is an open set. Uh, so if what is A? A is any subset of that discrete matrix space. Discrete matrix space means what is the distance of two elements? Either it will be zero or one. Right? If elements are different, then distance is one. If x is equal to y, distance is zero. Okay. So let x belongs to A. So can, can you give me an open ball which is totally contained in A? Then x belongs to B epsilon of x. Whatever may be epsilon, x will be always contained in B epsilon of x. X is center, right? So, if I take epsilon is equal to 1, what will be that set in discrete matrix space? We already found the open balls. What is B1 of x? What is open ball in discrete matrix space whose radius is 1? We have already done this, right? What is B1 of X? Set of all Y in M such that distance of X, Y is less than 1. What, what are those points? Strictly less than 1. Can you recall this? It is just singleton X, no? For if x and y are different, distance is 1 and 1 is not strictly less than 1. So that, that case won't be there. Either distance of x, y is 0 or distance of x, y is 1. But this case won't be considered because it is less than strictly less than 1. So this won't be there. Right? Only this case will be there. Are you getting? Yes, ma'am. So, what is that set? Only singleton x? So, it is just singleton x and which is totally contained in A and therefore A is an open set. So, every singleton uh, every singleton set or every set is open set in discrete matrix space. Is that right? If A is singleton set or any another set, still it will be an open set in discrete matrix space. So in discrete matrix space, every subset is an open set. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Next one. Ma'am. Huh? Open uh, open interval zero comma one gets it to the discrete matrix of the eight nine, na? Open interval. Zero comma one. Huh? Open interval zero comma. Huh? To the uh, manje discrete discrete ani usual manje farakka ani kama manje. The discrete is zero distance. Matrix space is दोन point. It is a set of two points. 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 It is a set of two Okay, R with this and R with D, discrete metric. D, this is different. 
set is underlying set is same but how i am measuring distance between the elements that matters here it is usual means modulus this is modulus i am measuring the distance like modulus here that is usual metric and this is discrete metric how we i am defining discrete metric distance of x y is equal to 0 if x is equal to y and 1 if x is not equal to y right then it will be discrete metric are you getting this yes ma'am so in r if it is discrete metric also open interval is an open set Mala fakta open ball kunta paije open I want open ball and that will be nothing but a singleton ball. Singleton set. In are you getting this? A ball jo asil na of radius one. That is nothing but singleton set. So I want only one ball which is totally contained in that set. To me konti radius game, me the half pan gitla tari chale. Okay, instead of one, if I take here one by two, also that will be single turn X. Right? But B2, I can't take here two. Because it may not contain in total, uh, because it will be full space. Are you getting this? Meet a don't like you, Shakar. Huh? Take picture less of the Pajikna and the radius Kadiman. Kadipan, eh? Maja Ata Malaka Paj, what is open set? Open set, Mala Ekada set, open that by Sai, Manjaka Karai Sai. He, you take any point. And it there point both the sum the me contai set take any suppose this is my uh, metric space okay and imala ha set open that by the ahe I want to show this set as open set the open set chi definition ka hai sum the me a la contai point gitla you take this x can you give me an open ball totally contained in that set एक तरी ओपन बॉल तुम्ही दिला पाहिजे की जो टोटली याच्यामध्ये राहील तर मी याला ओपन सेट म्हणेल आर यू गेटिंग दिस फॉर एग्जांपल रियल लाइन मध्ये काय होतं आहे यू टेक दिस रियल लाइन ओके दिस इज 0 1 इफ यू टेक दिस ओपन इंटरवल ओपन इंटरवल 0 1 देन for any point you can have an open ball which is totally contained in this to me current 0 and 1 yache points nahi che okay excluding 0 and 1 here but if you take close 0 then this is not an open set current tum tumche kade ek point hai 0 0 belongs to this this set but you cannot find an open ball to me that's a center zero asil and radius whatever you can find open ball around zero which is totally contained in this one zero che around madhe open ball konta rail zero minus epsilon zero plus epsilon right yes Huh. So that is nothing but minus epsilon epsilon. This is nothing but open ball. Whatever may be your epsilon. Kiti choti epsilon get la to me. Tari to ya set madhe nasil. Are you getting this? That zero. Ikar chi side ikade rail na. Whatever may be your epsilon. Kiti chota epsilon get la to me. Are you getting this? Yes, ma'am. Around zero, whatever yes, epsilon you take, whatever open ball, that will be nothing but interval again. 
and that cannot be totally contained in this close interval 0 1 are you getting this yes ma'am so close interval 0 1 is not an open ball but open interval 0 1 is a open ball because you take any another point for that i can find a ball which is totally containing but he is a boundary to point say that you are not open ball are you getting this I cannot have an open ball but if you leave the boundary points whatever you other point if you take you can find an open ball which is totally contained in that set therefore that open interval or whatever that set will be an open set to mala open set or open ball madla for a kartaika Are you getting my point? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If you open this set, you can open this set. If you open if I can find an open ball around every point, which is totally contained in that set, then I will say it is an open set. Otherwise, not. So, it means B2 of X given kai fayda nahi na mala karan I can't say that uh, what is B2 uh, for in discrete matrix space what is B2 of X what is B2X it is nothing but whole space right M and which is need not be totally contained in A unless and until A is equal to M are you getting so how you know what is the benefit? Mala ball ball coop. But what what open ball I should have, which will be totally contained in that set. Ek zari asla tari chalto. If you can find at least one ball which is totally contained in that set, pratek ball tachya madhe contain vaila pay ja asa garaz nai. But if you can find only one ball which is totally contained in that set, then I will call it as an open set. Is that okay? Because if you consider a center, how many open balls you can have? To me X gitla. Whatever X you take here. You take X here. How many open balls you can have? This open ball around center center as lila. You can have many, right? But it should be totally contained in that. Totally contained means metric space manje for every uh, that that should satisfy that uh, property, right? Yes, ma'am. So open yes, set prove karta na. Mala ek open ball me ala taripan sufficient hai. Jo ta set madhe rai. But around every point, around every point. Means I want a neighborhood of each of its points. If A, that when I will call that A is an open set, if A is neighborhood of each of its points. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So... Now we will see this. Every open ball is an open set. Next theorem. Let MD be a metric space. For any x in M and epsilon greater than 0 b epsilon of x is open that is every every open ball is an open set 
in a metric space every open ball is an open set okay i want to prove this now so how how i should prove this Again, you take M D B a metric space. Suppose this is your metric space, full metric space, and you have an open ball. I want to show this open ball is an open set. Let me. I will draw. Uh, suppose this is full is your metric space, and I will just draw open ball. Shape ball. Okay. Round shape. Okay. I will draw a ball. Roughly, I will draw a circle. Okay. Suppose this is my B epsilon of X, whose radius, if X is this one, B epsilon of X is this one. Roughly, is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Ah, center is x and radius is epsilon. Now I want to show this is an open set. So when I will say this is an open set, if you take any point of this b epsilon of x, and if you can draw a ball which is totally contained in this set, then I will say it is an open set. अतः y point को ठीक I will take I suppose I take y here. Let start with any another point. Okay, any arbitrary point of this b epsilon of x. So let y belongs to b epsilon of x. Now can you give me a open ball which is totally contained in this? आता ये चोरुन में क्या आसे I will take like this if I take this epsilon radius it will work yes हाँ पर मैं फक्त बाय आसे बगून नहीं सांगु शक्त ना what should I take this distance है distance मंजे क्या आया था what is this distance how can I measure that distance or how can I write in this distance? Epsilon minus he distance epsilon there me kela he distance. Okay. Yes ma'am. This is my y. Okay. Are you getting? So distance between x y j kai ahe. Epsilon madun te me subtract kela. Tar jo kai radius the ball asil. To totally contained asil te chama te. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, take, take epsilon is equal to, or at the epsilon already is alive, so I will take here delta. Delta is equal to epsilon minus distance between x, y. Then delta will be always greater than zero. Now we show that, now we show that this B delta of y totally contain in b epsilon of x. From diagram I can see this b delta of y is totally contain in b epsilon of x. Right? Yes ma'am. So this smaller ball is totally contain in this larger ball I want to show. Y is arbitrary element of that ball. So how can I show a is a subset of b start with arbitrary element of that small ball so let z belongs to b delta of y and show that it belongs to b epsilon of x right so what this implies what is distance between z and y if it belongs to b delta of y it must be less than delta distance between z and y must be less than delta radius is that right? Yes, ma'am. Now, what is distance between z and y? What is my delta? 
डेल्टा इज नथिंग बट एप्सलॉन माइनस डिस्टेंस ऑफ एक्स वाई एक्स वाई सो नाउ ओके आई विल राइट दिस हियर हे दिसतंय ना तुम्हाला कॉर्नरला आहे तरी पण ओके सो डिस्टन्स ऑफ झेड वाय प्लस डिस्टन्स ऑफ एक्स वाय प्लस डिस्टन्स ऑफ एक्स वाय इज स्ट्रिक्टली लेस देन एप्सलॉन इज दॅट राईट फ्रॉम हिअर दिस एम्प्लाईज आय विल राईट बट वॉट इज दिस डिस्टन्स ऑफ झेड वाय अँड डिस्टन्स ऑफ एक्स वाय डिस्टन्स ऑफ झेड एक्स इज लेस दॅन एप्सलॉन मीन्स वॉट वेअर दिस झेड बिलॉंग्स टू बी एप्सलॉन ऑफ एक्स देअर फोर बी डेल्टा ऑफ वाय इज टोटली कंटेन इन बी एप्सलॉन ऑफ एक्स ओके सो देअर फोर बी एप्सलॉन ऑफ एक्स इज एन ओपन सेट एवरी ओपन बॉल इज एन ओपन सेट सो दिस बी एप्सलॉन एक्स इज अल्सो आर्बिट्री ओपन बॉल अँड दिस वाय इज अल्सो आर्बिट्री पॉइंट ऑफ दॅट सेट अँड आय हॅव ड्रॉन आय हॅव फाउंड अ ओपन बॉल अराउंड दॅट वाय विच इज टोटली कंटेन इन बी एप्सलॉन ऑफ एक्स देअर फोर बी एप्सलॉन ऑफ एक्स इज एन ओपन सेट दॅट इज एव्हरी ओपन बॉल is an open set is an open set in matrix space is that okay yes ma'am okay so we yes, can stop here yes. today remaining ma'am yes